Dear students, today we are going to discuss our general elective paper for for fourth semester, that is human rights. The first topic in this paper, human right, is the conceptual aspects of human right. The conceptual aspects contain the different definitions about human right and the explanation of those definitions through deriving certain characteristics. So first we will see the definitions of human right. The first definition is given by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights 1948 the, according to which the human rights are rights derived from the inherent dignity of the human person. The rights derived from the inherent dignity of the human person. The focus here is on dignity and on inherent. The second definition is given by section 21D of the Protection of Human Rights Act 1993 according to which human rights are the rights relating to life, liberty, equality and dignity of the individual guaranteed by the constitution or embodied in the international covenants and enforceable by courts in India. In this definition, the focus is on liberty, equality and dignity of individuals. From, the, from these definitions, we can clearly derive certain characteristics of human right. These characteristics of the human right will clarify the conceptual aspects of this topic. The first characteristic is human rights are related to human dignity. The human dignity needs certain rights. A human being cannot keep it, his dignity, rather cannot keep his or her dignity without certain rights. Those rights which help an individual as a human being to maintain his or her dignity are human rights. The second characteristic is human rights are universal. Human rights are universal in nature. They are not contextual. They are not limited by space. They don't differ from, on the basis of caste, religion, creed, race, social status, economic status or even space that makes them universal. For example, the foreigners don't have the right, don't, don't have many rights which a resident enjoy. But even a foreigner in any country has the, has the human rights. Those human rights are not violated even on the basis of nationality. The third character is Human rights are inherent in all individuals. That uh, explains equality. That so far as human rights are concerned, all individuals are equal. There cannot be any discrimination due to any, or due to any special position, whether social, economic, political or, or legal. All human beings, all individuals enjoy the same human rights. The fourth characteristic which we get from these definitions is human rights are inalienable. They cannot be separated from the individual. They are inherent in the inner in a individual and no human being at any point of time can be separated or derived from this, those rights. This can be further explained by seeing that these human rights cannot be uh, withdrawn or a person cannot be deprived of those rights even after death. The different rituals after death in different religions further testifies it. 
even if a convict who has been given capital punishment cannot be deprived uh, for, uh, from getting the funeral rites as per his or her religion uh, uh, as it embodies his or her human rights. The next characteristics is human rights are essential and necessary. That means a dignity of the human being. The human being cannot develop his or her personality fully up to the optimal extent to the height, to raise to the height which he or she is capable of unless he or she has, a, has uh, those human rights. Without human rights, the development of the personality of human beings will be limited. The next characteristics which we get from those definitions are human rights are irrevocable. They cannot be revoked. They cannot be revoked through any court of law or any law made by the legislature. They are to be to be to be enjoyed by the individuals in every circumstances. They cannot be limited. Hum Next characteristics is human rights are not absolute. Though human rights are universal and irrevocable, yet they are since man is a social animal, man is a social person, we, he or she lives in a society and since an individual or a human being is a social person, the society always imposes certain restrictions which is exercised by the government. So government will always put certain limitations to those rights. And that way human rights are not absolute but relative in different circumstances. The next characteristics is human rights are dynamic. They are not static in nature. That means with passes of time, with the development of civilization, with the change in economic progress, these human rights also develop. They also evolve. We are, the new human rights come before us. For example, nowadays, the, uh, the especially disabled person or the young persons get, get certain facilities everywhere. In academic institutions, there has to be uh, special provisions for them. If they can't use a staircase, they, they, there must be a ramp for them. This special provisions for the beings everywhere is on the basis of human rights. They are also human beings. They have to keep their dignity and to keep the dignity of those Libyans, special facilities are given under their human rights. Next characteristics is human rights limit the state power. Since human rights are universal and irrevocable, they limit the state's power. No state can, re can revoke those human rights. No person can be denied by the state or by the government of those rights. That makes the rights very important and that makes the individual dignified even before the government. And the next characteristics is human rights support the purpose to human life. Human rights support the purpose of human life. This is a very important uh, character feature or characteristics. Because the, the, the human life must have some purpose. We are not animals. We are human individuals. And every individual's life has some purpose. And that purpose ultimately, ultimately is to attain a dignity as an individual, as a person. These, uh, these attainment of, of individuality, individuality with dignity or the fulfillment of the purpose of life is not possible without human rights. Therefore, human rights are very important to fulfill the basic purpose of the life. This is all about the conceptual aspects of human life. Stay safe and stay healthy.